The two months that you're actually at sea and on patrol doesn't really get you uh, physically out of condition. You have enough activity. Ladders and uh, back and forth in the compartment, stepping through the hatches. You know, you got to bend a lot of muscles to get down through a hatch. The food is really good, and it's the best in the service, as far as I know. And the uh, nice thing is the fact that the captain has to eat out of the same kitchen as you. So when the bad food comes out, he gets it too. And then it comes right back to the cook. <laughs> so, you know, everybody's happy about that. About one out of every six of the crew is on his first patrol. It takes about two patrols to pass your ship and watch station qualifications. But when you've finally done that and you've got your dolphins, it's the greatest feeling in the world. A lot of the guys will give you help and a lot of them will give you help, but when you get ready to go for your oral interview or your qualification board and you've passed it, you look back on all that and you think, well, it helped more than hindered. I think uh, everybody in the boat really, you know, pushes people to get them qualified. As far as the recreation goes, the lounge is the big thing. Usually it's packed night and day, but yet the crew is conscious enough of, let's say, the, the NQPs where he's trying to qualify, and it really gets noisy. All he has to do is open the door and say, will you please hold it down? And they will. Uh, they respect each individual. There's no real sense of night and day. So there's really no sense, you know, of time. I know Jack and I have sat down and played uh, cards at 4 o'clock in the morning and thought it was 4 in the afternoon. Of course, we have the movies. There's a different one every day, two on Sundays. And then there's the individual projectors. We just slide in a cartridge, and you can run your own movie, anything from ethics or art, sociology, religion, those type of things, you know. And they're very good. We get five family grams during the patrol, 15, 18-word messages from our families. Of course, we can't answer back, but they mean a lot. That's the captain speaking. Please send a word to see me. Thank you. Sometimes a guy gets an extra, like a baby gram, and those come through the captain. That's when we all get cigars. And we bake them a cake, slap them on the back, Sometimes the babies come near the end of the patrol and the cigars are a little bit stale by then. If I have to be at sea for 60 days, I prefer to be underwater. It's much smoother. Storms are very little trouble. You don't have to put up with any of the elements that you'd have to on a surface craft. And the habitability of a submarine is very good. Temperature 72 degrees, relative humidity 50%, constant. We keep recycling the air, it stays nice and clean. I think most people who haven't experienced something like this, being isolated for a period of time, when they think of it, it, it seems as if it would be very difficult. But we have a relatively large crew, and we have very few problems with anybody. I mean, I've heard of very few in the entire submarine force. 